Welcome to this video. This is the continuation of the former video. M45 Lineages and Modern Humans Continuation This is an indication that 2. The Amerindians are the origin, and possibly M and LX are the basis or the female part of population Y. My, JM, hypothesis is that mtDNA LX and M on continents other than South America are descendants of LX and M from South America for the following reasons. 1. Because certain fundamentals and ancestrality markers point to the Amazon region and more specifically the origin Amazon forest as the origin of all modern humans. Neanderthals, presenting the autosomal haplotype marker B006 with partial association with M45, are descended from the Americas, Prepopulation Y, this at least partially through an earlier Austronesian like expansion, and at least indirectly by the Austronesian expansion sensa stricto. And this is made clear by the M45 marker that was also carried by certain Neanderthals and the Austronesian expansion alike. There is a negative association between PV92 and Diego blood group system. There is a positive association between PV92 on one side and population Y and M45 on the other side. 2. LX and MMT DNA did not pass through Eurasia. Beringia or North America, because these regions do not have consistent LX or MMT DNA, and this is an indication that they did not come from Africa, they did not descended from Africa. LX and MMT DNA certainly did not cross Beringia and did not descend from the Beringian standstill where the by consensus supposed paradigmatic transformation from non-Amerindian ancestral to Amerindian ancestral should have occurred. I do not assume that mtDNA LX and M came from Africa to the Americas. After all, in the case that LX and M arrived in the Americas from Africa, I prefer the hypothesis that they migrated back to the Americas. If it had come from Africa, it would most likely have been delivered directly to South America by the South Atlantic Gyre. But such a back migration could cause one of the strongest paradigms for the consensus yet, because the DNA of Africa even more than the ancient DNA of Northeast Asia, cannot be a direct ancestor of the Amerindians. This is why a Beringia standstill of thousands of years was supposed to have evolved the non-Amerindian ancestry DNA into Amerindian DNA. This makes the by consensus supposed migration from Africa to the Americas genetically unlikely, if not impossible, while any return migration, back migration, not necessarily through Beringia, is quite likely in this particular case. In other words, the DNA of the Amerindian who carries the LX does not come from Africa and this, together with the currents, would be a very strong indication or even proof that the LX of Africa descends from the pre-Columbian Amerindian LX presented in the figure. 3. The LX and MMT DNA, M45, was already carried by the Neanderthal, long before mitochondrial Eve or African Eve could exist. 
The hypotheses of which this video is part resolves a very severe paradigm of consensus. The world's highest frequencies of B006 which is the main indicator of Neanderthal, which is also our one of the M45 lineage, are in the Americas and B006 is absent in Sub-Saharan Africa. 4. The female mtDNA LX and at least indirectly M are the counterparts of the male part of the population Y or the M45 lineages. 5. South American LX and MMTDNA were delivered by the South Atlantic currents and by the Austronesian expansion itself, as well as their correlated ships and fleets to Africa and very specifically to West Africa. The LX and MMTDNA could have circulated between South America and Africa around the South Atlantic Gyre. Any related ships or fleets would have sailed as the Spanish and Portuguese did relatively recently and certainly long after the start of the Austronesian expansion. My hypothesis is that the MTDNAM, which is presented, is the female counterpart of the male part of the population Y that carries M45 and the M45 lineage through Austronesian expansion, the ancient expansion of Northeast Asia, early modern European humans, EMH, haplogroup C, etc. Austronesian expansion from the Americas to Polynesia, Oceania, Australia, Papua New Guinea, Japan, East Asia via the Amur River, etc., Andaman, Tibet via the Irrawaddy River, across Myanmar, etc., to Tibet, etc., Ancient Northeast Asia to Eurasia that includes Europe, the descendant haplogroups D and D to Africa, and the Middle East, the early European modern humans, EMH, to Europe and Western Eurasia. All of this happened long before our or the boomers populated and dominated Europe and Western Eurasia. Our 1B approximately between 7,000 to 8,000 and 4,000 BP further expanding the Amerindian M45 marker which formed an important part of the Austronesian expansion that began 50 to 70,000 Kia and is interpreted by consensus as out of Africa. The same Amerindian M45 marker was delivered to the rest of the world long before MTDNAL by the in-between Neanderthal group. It is relatively easy to detect the association between the Neanderthal marker B006 and the Amerindian C, R, and Q, and M equally. It is recognized by science that the Neanderthal inherited L from a common ancestor with modern humans, which here is argued to have been the Native American or Amerindian, this because of the association of the Neanderthal with Q along with the its first descendant C and even more directly with its last descendant R. 1. For simplicity in the case of C added to Q, focus on the frequencies in South America for Neanderthals, and then to Q added to C. 2. For simplicity, in the case of C added to Q, focus on the frequencies in North America for Neanderthal, and then for Q added to C. 3. To simplify in the case of R, Focus on the frequencies in North America for Neanderthal and then 4Q plus C. 4. To simplify in the case of R, focus on the frequencies in South America for Neanderthal and then 4Q added to C.
There is a remarkable spatial association, at least if we take into account that the time discrepancy between Neanderthal and Y-DNAR, the descendants of Q, is on the order of hundreds of thousands of years. This may be an indication that at least Q and the Neanderthal are not relatively that far apart. Personally, I think that Q, being the ancestor of all humans, which includes the Neanderthal, is hundreds or even many millions before the Neanderthal, but migrations and rotations must have been much less frequent at that time, or rather in between them. As stated above, the Neanderthal inherited LX from a common ancestor with modern humans. We know that L is present in South and Central America, but we do not have a map. So instead I use M, which is ancestor of LX and which, when added together here, is smoothly argued to have been the female partner of the Native American or Amerindian, this because of the association of the Neanderthal with LX together with its first descendant M on the one hand and with Q added to its direct descendant C on the other hand. The figure presented relating to the Neanderthals and Denisovans recognized as the sister group in South America superficially shows an association between the Neanderthals and Denisovans on one side, and population Y and the M45 marker on the other side. It also shows the apparent absence of the sister groups in the Amazon region, where the Diego blood group system, another ancestral or original Amerindian marker, is more frequent. In other words, the Diego blood group system, which is a marker of the original Amerindian M3, shows a negative correlation with mutants like the Neanderthal, because the Neanderthal presents another autosomal haplotype than the original Amerindian M3 in modern humans, who descend from the mutant Amerindian M45 in or before the Austronesian expansion. The Amazon region largely has its still unmutated M3, because it is home to the original, in the pre-Columbian ancient DNA. Here presented is a map with a clear positive association between sites with Neanderthals and sites with LMT DNA, again providing evidence for some of the hypotheses presented above. I further suppose that the association PV92 with M45 and population Y is further proof that the Amerindian marker M45 descends, mutation, from the Amerindian marker M3 and gives us a clue about the age of PV92, which is similar to or later than M45, which is at least 50 to 70 Kia. It also tells us that the African L migrated from Central and South America before this mutation from M3 to M45 and the appearance of the American PV92 occurred at least 50 to 70 Kia. To a certain extent, I can argue regarding certain Amerindian tribes by which root and part of the Austronesian expansion and modern humans they populated today and which haplogroup they transformed into and by what known process they did so. But that is the subject of other videos and ebooks. Thank you for watching. Bye.